today. Uh, we've been talking about nutrients the last couple uh, videos and I want to continue with that. We have talked about uh, curcumin, ECGC, ursolic acid, and today we're going to talk about vitamin D. These are four of the nutrients that I have explained to you that I um, make sure my body gets on a daily basis. As you know, there are eight of them. And I do eat other things besides these, you know, these eight nutrients that, that I'm talking about, but I want to concentrate on, on these. Um, did you know that uh, insufficient amounts of vitamin D uh, levels in your body can drastically affect your immune system? So we want to make sure we're getting enough of it. Um, also, vitamin D is critical to a, the production of a protein that inhibits the growth of, um, of uh, cancer cells. And it helps with metastasis, and it even has the capability to reverse the devastating effects of uh, of cancer you know in the body so it's very important to have a sufficient amount of vitamin D one of the best recommendations for vitamin D to the body is natural sunlight they say different researchers say that um, as much as 20 to 30 minutes of sunshine a day without any um, uh, sunscreen protection is probably the best, vit best vitamin D you could possibly get. Well, that's not always possible, uh, especially when you live in climates like Michigan. Woke up this morning and it was 32. I don't think it's a day I'd wanna go outside and get my vitamin D outside. But anyway, and also with vitamin D, um, there are not that many foods that contain vitamin D, or, or I should say sufficient amounts of vitamin D. One of the most popular, and one that is always highly recommended, recommended is salmon. Well, not everybody likes fish either. Um, some of the uh, um, foods that you can get your vitamin D, of course, is, you know, is eggs and mushrooms, and there's a few things like that. But also, uh, through my reading, uh, they say that um, it probably is necessary for every uh, um, adult to be taking a vitamin D supplement. So, as always, you know, I tell you what I do, and then I leave the decision, you know, up, up to you. So I decided, um, and I love salmon, and I'm, I'm, I eat salmon, but I do eat my an egg every day, which is, you know, satisfying that vitamin D. But I thought, you know, seeing so many people don't like salmon, but I will show you some great recipes in the future. I thought I'd do something with eggs today. Um, you know, you can uh, have egg dishes for, um, you know, for dinner, um, which I course is, is you know is not bad and I enjoy egg dishes you know for dinner and so forth so this is a very simple recipe you can do a quick breakfast and uh, I in it I have um, the eggs the tomatoes I also have mushrooms which have uh, you know vitamin D in it and you can go and get some you know pretty fancy mushrooms uh, to enjoy in this dish so let's get going okay I just turned on my uh, the heat on, on, on the pan here. And the first thing we're going to do is put in uh, a few sliced uh, uh, mushrooms. Let me get these over here. Now I like to, you know, most people slice them, I guess, they'll slice them down like this. But with me, I, I just like cutting them like this and, and um, giving them all, you know, together. Like this, nice little pile. I do like mushrooms. And, and um, like I say, you can, um, you know, buy a whole bunch of fancy ones and, and um, you know, do some really good things with mushrooms. And, and like I say, they are very really healthy for you. In my pan here, which I should have probably started before I started the, you know, video, because it takes a while for this particular pan to get hot. I am going to put in a little oil to cook these, cook these mushrooms. Um, you can use butter. 
you know, um, they always say a Mediterranean diet is better for you than anything else. I use, even though I have mentioned that I, I don't do much dairy, I do do, you know, some, some dairy. But, you know, they say the Mediterranean diets are so good for you. And of course, you know, they say olive oil is, you know, is good. So, you know, I kind of go back and forth. Sometimes I use, you know, the oil. Sometimes I use the, uh, I use the butter. So let's see if we can get this, this pan up to, uh, to heat here. And we'll throw in our, our mushrooms. Ooh, a bunch of nice mushrooms there. I just want to get these mushrooms going so they get nice and brown, cooked through, and softened. So they're doing fine here. They look good. And once again, as I've said many times, I hate being repetitious, but you know, sometimes this may be the only video a person has tuned in on. But um, I do buy organic. These are nice organic, you know, mushrooms. And um, I don't know, I always feel better. You know, I don't know enough about the complete control on organic foods yet. You know, I was in the food um, industry before I had cancer. I, I had a bakery that I sold cookies um, throughout the Midwest to several stores. And, you know, we had some pretty uh, strict rules as to our ingredients and everything else that we, um, you know, that we had in, in our product. So um, that was very much controlled. Now, I don't know about the organic industry. Um, I've heard different things, so I'm, I'm not really sure um, how good the control is. Anyway, our next item that we need to put in here are some tomatoes. Now, I really like tomatoes. Um, I think it's the Italian in me. But um, anyway, and so I, I like to use the fresh tomato too. I suppose you could use canned tomatoes, but um, if I were to use canned tomatoes, I think I would like to uh, make sure that I'm buying them in a jar. Although, you know, glass jar, although now I'm seeing on some different things that um, uh, whatever that is that's in um, uh, cans, you know, that's bad, that when you're hitting something that's acidic, I don't know. I don't know enough about that because I haven't, you know, I haven't researched uh, uh, any of it. So anyway, so you can cut your tomatoes, you know, as big or as um, little as you would like. Because we're just going to pour these in, you know, with these mushrooms. Ooh, they're smelling really good. Um, my, my, my knife right here doesn't seem to be very sharp. You know, when I was growing up as a young girl, because I had seven siblings, my mom and dad, you know, had to um, get away from us, you know, for a little vacation at least once a year. And my grandma used to always um, take care of us. Well, my grandma, we'd come home from school, and um, she'd be, you know, she'd have all the, you know, the homemade bread and everything, you know, going on. But when she would cut bread, oh my goodness, I'll show you what she used to do. She used to take her bread and hold the bread against her, like many Italian, you know, women do. Let me make sure these aren't burning up on me. Like, uh, like many Italians do. And um, uh, she would have her knife like this. This would be her loaf of bread. And she'd always cut it towards her. Consequently, my entire life, I've had a problem with super sharp knives. So I don't get too upset if I, uh, uh, you know, if I have a knife that isn't, uh, isn't real sharp. Although they say to, um, you know, it's better to have a, a knife, you know, super sharp than a dull one because you could cut yourself. Anyway, you'll notice that I put these um, tomatoes. I have about uh, four um, medium-sized tomatoes uh, in here. Um, uh, they're a little smaller when you buy them organic as a rule. So these, like I say, were organic uh, uh, tomatoes uh, as well. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take these tomatoes and we're gonna pour them in here with our um, with our mushrooms. Like I said, this is very simple. Be done in a, done in an instant. We'll put our tomatoes all in here. 
And like I say, I like tomatoes. I try not to eat a whole lot of them, though. I try to eat like they say in moderation, you know? Everything they say in moderation. And uh, that's what I try to do. Sometimes I'm bad. <laughs> But it's okay. It's okay. I guess sometimes, you know, to, to be bad. But um, anyway, these are um, getting warmed nicely. And all you really need to do is keep them in here until they're nice and, you know, nice and warm. I would like to give them a little bit of salt. You know, you can put other things in here. You know, I put oregano in just about everything. Oregano is very good for you. But... Today we're just gonna we're just gonna do the salt and pepper. Basically because I just didn't get the oregano off. <laughs> It'll take me a few minutes to get it out. So <laughs> so we'll just go with uh, the salt and pepper today. And like I said, you know, I like eggs for dinner a lot. Um, especially if you've like been out to lunch or had a you know had a big lunch with a friend or something like that. You know, you don't um, you know you don't need a you don't need a big a big dinner. But what we want to do is, like I said, we want these tomatoes, you know, to, we want the, the juice to, to soak up uh, a little bit before we put our, before we put our eggs in. Uh, you know, I don't know if anybody has uh, trouble sleeping at all, but um, I've read a number of times uh, about different foods that, uh, that you can eat, uh, you know, uh, before bed if you're still hungry. And eggs happens to be one of them eggs and of course uh, turkey and uh, applesauce applesauce i learned from a girl years ago i used to have a radio show and she came on and she talked a lot about nutrition and uh one of the things that she always said was uh use applesauce before uh before bed and you know what if I wake up in the middle of the night, you might want to try this yourself. If I wake up in the middle of the night and I'm tossing and turning because too much going on in my life and I can't get my brain to settle down, you know, I'll get up and, um, you know, eat a little applesauce. You can buy those little tiny containers. They're organic and they're unsweetened. And uh, I come to the kitchen, grab myself a little applesauce and eat it and just go hop back in bed and... I wake up in the morning and think, hmm, that, that was fast. I got back to sleep pretty fast. So, you know, so try that too. Because uh, I know we all sometimes have trouble, you know, sleeping. So let me see here. We're doing pretty good. Now what we're going to do is we're going to make a few holes here. Um, it could be a little drier in here to put the eggs. But, um, you know, for the sake of time, I'm just going to go ahead and put some eggs uh, in here. And show you how we show you how we do this. Uh, I'm going to try and get three in. So I've got one little egg right here. I'm going to try and get him in there. I got him in there. You stay there, buddy. And then, whoops. Then I've got another one right here. Obviously, this is for more than one person. You know, you could put four, make more sense than be for two people. But I just happened to, you know, crack three eggs. Now move over, move over, there's another guy coming. Get in there. Okay, in there. Now I got my three eggs in there. And they look kind of happy, don't they? They're in there, nice and, nice and happy. And, um... What we're going to do is we're going to let them go ahead and put the lid on so we can get the tops to cook. Now, at the end of this dish, um, the, the added, you know, when I made it years ago, I mean, I always put, you know, cheese, uh, cheese on. But, um, you know, you can, uh, if you want or if you don't want, you know, you can, you can do it. I think if you're serving it to company if it was for dinner you know you might want to put it on but this is regular cheese and I always buy the the brick the, the you know the brick uh, part so so I can um, you know so I can shred it myself and it's you know it's regular cheese but I don't know how many 
are uh, familiar with diet cheese, which is uh, a non-dairy. Hold one second, I'm gonna get that for you out of my uh, refrigerator and show you what that is all about, because you could also use that. Uh, let's find it here. Here we, here we go, here we go. And it's really quite good. I remember my uh, daughter-in-law giving it to her, her daughter when it uh, first came out. And um, I didn't think it was very good at times. It's dairy-free, soy-free, and a good source of, of calcium. But this is what it is, a uh, diet of cheese. And it makes really good grilled cheese sandwiches, too. So if you want to put the cheese, you know, on, on top of these eggs, uh, this certainly is a, a, a good alternative. So uh, give it a try. Uh, I think you might like it. And like I say, you know, it makes good grilled cheese sandwiches, you know, or, you know, when everybody else is eating those fancy nachos and you're trying to eat something similar because they look so good, you know, this is really, this is, is good to use. And, you know, you can always get those, uh, you can always get your bread, which is um, uh, from sprouts, made from sprouts. And that's actually what I do when I, when I feel like I have to have bread or something, you know, some kind of texture like like that. So, um, you know, look for it. It's in, it's in all the grocery stores. It wasn't years ago, but it is now. Um, and I think you might, I think you might enjoy it. So we'll just put that there. We'll take a look at our eggs and see how they're, how they're doing. Oh, they're looking good. They're looking real good. So we can take our lid off here. And what we'll do is I'll put this cheese on here. And, um, should I just put it on half? Oh, I'll just put it all over. Just think about it. And this will just melt on. You know, you don't ever need a whole lot. You know, just enough to make it melt a little. And I like my eggs soft. Some like them hard, some like them, you know, everybody likes, likes it a little differently. So you can do however you, however you choose. Let's give this a little second to, um, you know, to melt. It's looking good to me. Oh, and you know, I was cutting up parsley. You know, parsley is another thing that's so, so healthy for you. I pretend I like it, like on my eggs in the morning, or, or just like, in a place of spinach, like you use, you know, use uh, parsley. And I can't say it's my favorite thing, although I do like tabbouleh, which is which is parsley. But um, anyway, but it is, so, it's so good for you. And it always smells so nice. So I really recommend putting things like that, you know, on your, you know, on your food. Let me see how we're doing. Yeah, we're all melted here. So we are ready to go. We are ready to go. I'm going to um, get a dish here, scoop out just one of the eggs, see if I can get it out carefully. But I'm going to put lots of parsley on top because, like I say, it's, it's good for you. See what kind of a, a scoop we can get going here. Come on, little egg, here we come. Need a little bigger, a little bigger spatula here. Your spoon. Let's get some nice uh, juice on there. And then, as, all, as an Italian, I would be putting more. Here we go. And there we have it. Now, you know, like I say, um, you know, it's not a cheesecake or anything like that. It's going to keep you a lot healthier. So, um, I hope you take that into consideration. I hope you are eating your, um, you know, uh, eating some healthy food. Um... You know, it's my hopes that um, I can change, you know, the eating habits of, uh, of some because I want, you know, hoping everyone, I want everyone to feel better. I want everybody to, uh, you know, get through cancer as we know, if you're out there and you have it. And as we know, it's a, a scary thing and it's a tough thing to live with. So, so for now, please make this today or tomorrow and enjoy. But as I always say, be happy. This time I'm going to say, eat healthy though, and be happy. See you next time. Have a great day. Bye-bye.